Hey guys, we're back with more Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. Previously we've completed with Lucas, now we're moving on to this guy. That's right, Roy, a veteran from Melee. And no need to play around, we're doing it in 9.0. Let's only pray I can be able to do this for the sake of my sanity. Because if not, we're going to be in trouble. A first, a team battle. Falco and Fox on Corneria. Okay, yeah, I'm focused. Ready, go. Gotta be ready for anything. Dang. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Get off. Ow, 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 ow. I wonder if that worked. Yeah, you're done. He's got the first piece. Ow. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can't be near its range. No! He got the heart! Oh my god, why? Oh man, this is just messed up. Ah! You are gonna pay dearly. Yeah, serves you right. God damn! I was gonna get that smash over and pull the final smash on his happy butt. Well, whatever. We got silver and a galactic fiend kraken. I'm having some real bad luck. Okay, time to move on to the next one, and it's a giant we fit trainer. And we have some allies joining us this time. Mewtwo and Little Mac. Though Little Mac wouldn't be that helpful because, like I said, ground game's good, air game is butt. He's lame. Let's go! Sorry, but you're not doing any of that! Yeah, wrong. Assist trophy! Help us out here! Mewtwo got a downgrade. Its defenses are weakened. Wow, this is just so easy. Let's hope it works! That ought to slow you down. And that should wipe you out. Have a nice day. Literally. And the best part is that I didn't lose any of my comrades. So we obtain an Enriched Sun Salutation, Super Agility Badge, and a Super Brawn Badge. Enriched? I was thinking more like a Nutrition. Okay, who's next? One-on-one. -on -one. Metal Link. One-on-one, -on -one, Metal Link, this is gonna be bad. Ready, go. Let's go. Get off! Yeah, Metal gives him some invincibility, but not as much. Snorlax, Body Slam! You're asking for a death, my friend! Uh-oh.
What? Damn, I didn't know I had a meteor effect. Come on. Well, guess that's it. I just didn't need to do anything. Wow. So let's see what I want. Fennekin and the Prism Tower. Prism Tower is based off the Eiffel Tower. That's cool. Ready, go. Okay, who's next? You know what? Oh, great. It's a free-for-all with Samus, Zero Suit Samus, and Mr. Game & Watch. Yeah, two Samuses and a Game & Watch. This ain't gonna be fun. Ready, go. A Color TV Game 15? Oh, wait, I forgot. James mentioned it in his review. Hong Kong. Ah, the pain is intense. Nice. Whoa, that had a hurt. Come on. No, not wanna work. Uh oh. Aha, that's awesome. Well, that was a fail. Oh good, let them deal with it. Yeah, that should take care of ZZ CSS. Worst part is that I miss with the final smash, but at least you now get an idea. It's only more effective up close. And we obtain the deluxe arm cannon and the football helmet. Ready, go. I wonder what's next. Yep, the fighting me team. Versus fighting me team. I'm just nervous because with the end, it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be absolutely nuts, I tell Ready? you. All right, this should do it. Well, at least the Mies ain't that bad a big of a deal. Nice. Go, Beetle! Yeah, I forgot. The counter is only shorter this time around. Unlike in Melee, which counter was like normal, it's just shorter, but it provides a kick and power. Let's see what we won. We won Iris Arkwell and a Paper Bowser second form from Sticker Star. Not many people liked it. And now all that remains are the hands. Master Hand, Master hand and Crazy Hand. This is gonna be a heck of a fight. Yep, this is it. No going back for us. Let's do this. Yo, see what I mean? And 12 seconds in, it was pretty good. But I can't let my guard down yet. Yeah, that's right. Here comes the Master Core. All right. Nope. But I got to be careful with his Smash versions because they can be quite a pain and can leave you extremely vulnerable. Nice! No! That takes care of it! One down, three to go! Master Beast. Yep, makes you vulnerable, so I gotta be careful with it. Ah! 
Double hat. Nice, that was close. Nope. And that should take care of it. Now move on to Master Edges. Let's pray we make it in one piece. Oh boy. Nice. No. One, two, three, four. And that should do it. We're going strong. We're going good. Now comes the Master Shadow. Nope. Yeah. And should it work? Did it work? Whoa. And that does it. Oh, finally. Am I excited that I beat it 9.0? Yes. But what's more exciting about this? Watch. Well, I guess that didn't work. Now it did! However, the side effect is that you suffer recoil damage if you use it too much. That is not a good thing. And we did it once again in 9.0. We got the dash counter. We have the no flinch smasher suit. And the Rippin' Boomerang. A fitting end indeed. And there he is, Roy from Fire Emblem Binding Blade. Like Lucas before, it's good to have you back, my friend. It really is. So, what do I have to say about this? Honestly, what do I have to say? Final thoughts on this is simple. Roy is like Marth, but there's been a few noticeable changes. For starters, he no longer has the two hit that he used to have in Melee. Rather, instead now it's just one hit, but it makes up for it with power and speed. In addition, most of his moves have been like revamped somewhat. He's still the same, but just more dangerous. Not to mention, he has a shorter counter, which means if you pull the counter, you have to have like a window of opportunity to pull it off. But of all honesty, this is just too awesome. I really mean it. Roy is a powerhouse, and his final smash is basically an improved version of Mars. The only difference is that he has a, like a circle. Anyone that gets trapped in it is more likely to get wiped out. Take it from me, I tried it on before during my previous runs, and it ended up pretty good. Now if only 9.0 could be less of a pain in the butt, because honestly, this is just too much. Oh yeah, his also his up smash has also been tweaked as a multi hitter, and you can also like change the direction. Come on, there. Now let's take care of this side. Now we gotta fake this in the middle, and we're done. There you go, and there it is, the complete pick: Marth, Roy, and Ike. But with this, this basically raises it up to five, five Fire Emblem characters, six if you're counting female Robin. But still. This is just too awesome. Too awesome, too cool, and too good. They changed Roy up completely, give him a more modern look. I heard also the voice actor for Roy, he had to re-record his lines, which could explain why they sound different. But bottom line, Roy is this that much awesome of a character, and I can't recommend it enough. It's worth the five buck purchase, or four. That's about it for Smash Brothers on the 3DS with Roy. Next time, we're gonna be doing it with Ryu. And yes, I'm doing the Wii U version later. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time. Wow. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace.